Continuing coverage as we dig deeper into the decision about a Knoxville-based solar panel company. Yesterday, we told you a federal court judge would keep in place an order that shuttered Solar Titan USA. The memo with that ruling also gives us clues about how the case could play out if it does go to trial and possible avenues for customers to get some relief here. In explaining why the shutdown injunction should stay, Judge Clifton Corker lays out how he feels about the arguments made by attorneys for Kentucky and Tennessee suing solar titan over customer complaints that their solar panel installations were delayed and that it was just over and all, overall a bad deal. Now, Judge Corker writing in the memo that he thinks most of the plaintiff's arguments would succeed. However, one he sees as unlikely to succeed is the claim that customers did not know they might not qualify for federal grants to help pay for installing the panels. Now, Judge Corker points to the wording of Solar Titan's contracts, which lays out that the grants are not guaranteed, satisfying the requirements of federal consumer protection laws. Now, what the judge thinks would succeed claims that Solar Titan broke federal and state rules on canceling contracts, that Solar Titan misled customers about whether the panels would cut homeowner utility bills, and the notion that Solar Titan executives could be personally liable. The judge even writes that he has to keep executives' bank accounts frozen and couldn't limit the freezes because they did not comply with orders to hand over financial records, referring to the contents of those accounts as, quote, ill-gotten gains. Now, we have to point out that the judge is using the word likely, not definitely, when it comes to the success or failure of the arguments, and likely is the standard when it comes to upholding or challenging a restraining order. But nothing is certain, and this is before all the evidence is presented and before the arguments have been made. The judge also knows that state law differs between Kentucky and Tennessee when it comes to how much of a customer's money they can get back. In Tennessee, one law could allow Solar Titan to keep payments for services before the contract was canceled out. In Kentucky, they might not keep any of that money. Of course, we'll keep following this process.